three, two, one, action. What is up guys, Derek and Warren, we're the brothers of Divine Audiovisual, and we have something very, very, very special for you today. I'll hand it over to Warren, he'll get you into this a little bit. Guys, this is the brand new seven channel 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos RX V6 by Yamaha. This is an awesome receiver. We've been using the kind of 685 model from last year. And uh, prior to that, it was a 681 for quite a few years now, and these are fantastic receivers. So we're hoping that this one kind of stands up to its reputation. It was getting a bit redundant there with the 677798183858, and we are super stoked to see them finally change this to the RX-V6A, which is an awesome model number. Just It simplifies things, so we like to see that. Um, we're very excited. It's our first time unboxing this thing. Um, what are we doing after unboxing? Yeah, so we, we haven't even seen what this thing can do yet. So we're doing something special today for you guys. We're actually going to be doing some dyno testing of this unit using these RP-8000F towers by Klipsch. Let's see what this baby is really capable of and does it actually put out its rated output of 100 watts per channel with two channels driven. We'll get into more specs and stuff, but first, send it over to Derek. He's going to go ahead and unbox this thing. It's going to take about 30, 40 minutes for the unboxing. So I will make this short and sweet. Um, I know it's in a Yamaha box. I've opened at least, uh, I'd say, uh, 1,500 of them. Yamaha is our favorite brand, so we've there's, had a lot of experience. paper in the box. Everybody. Paper in the box. Uh, the remote, uh, so real quick on the remote. This is the remote that was seen with the 585 receiver. Um, it seems a bit of a down step from what was with the 685 so we'll see that one had a like nicer texture to the remote it felt better in your hands this one does feel a little bit more like a denim we're, we're little we're a little stressed about that because we're wondering if it's going to have the kind of graphic interface from the 585 series or if it'll have that nicer interface from the avantage uh, that we see in the full avantage lineup yeah the reason we're concerned is that 685 had that graphic eq with the uh 16 band equalizer on it so we can choose everything so uh warren i will see here in a second yeah, we want to be able to manipulate all frequencies uh, in the range of, our, range of our hearing. But let's get this Cyclops out the box. <laughs> okay, I've heard a lot about its Cyclops. I'll let you guys see it before I can see it. There it is. Man, I think it's amazing looking. I think it's Holy cow. It, I think it's a good looking. It's our first time seeing it, so right, really cool. Look at that pattern. Yeah, it's got a very cool pattern to the top of it. I'll show you guys right there. That'll really help with heat, heat dissipation, though. It's It's got eh, probably about the same venting, just kind of a new uh, yeah. texture pattern to that. I'm liking it. It is it is pretty. I, I, yeah, I like the gloss black on the front of it. Um, I'm excited to see what Yamaha is going to be doing with their Aventage series. So we'll see on that. Here's the back of her. So she's uh, they've, they've upped that. So yeah, of course, she's got her 18K port. It supports eARC as well. And then it also has up to seven ports now, which this was, I think, at five before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really nice. Um, so yes, a couple of specs about this thing. So you do have, uh, with two channels driven, 100 uh, watts per channel. Uh, we'll have to kind of see. We may try to hook up a few more speakers uh, on a future video if you guys are interested in that. To yeah, see, and, uh, comment down below if you guys would like to see some more extensive testing. If you guys enjoy this video, sure. um, also don't forget to give us a like, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. For sure. So yeah, so like we were saying, um, if we want to kind of see what this thing can push out with seven channels driven, if you guys really want to see that, comment down below, and we'll do that in a future video. As far as uh, this one goes for today, we'll do that two channel test, see if it actually puts out that 100 watts per channel. This thing does support Dolby Vision. Uh, it's supposed to come in a future update if it's not here already, so we can do some testing on that as well. Um, it does support 4K 30 hertz currently with a future update coming very soon. It'll support 4K 120 hertz and of course uh, 4K 60 hertz. It does support 8K 60 hertz uh, that's, it will be 60 hertz max, and that is also going to be in a future update. Um, Y'all can, uh, we have system. plenty of these guys in stock, so you can uh, go ahead and contact us. Our, our office manager, Mercedes, can get you set up, and we get you some pricing and stuff, so that can also help support our small business here. We do have nationwide free shipping if you guys are, are interested in these, and um, we always appreciate the support. All right, um, let's get into this. So Derek's going to go ahead and hook it up right now. So what I've been doing, guys, is hooking up the 8000Fs here. Um, we're just going to test this with our dyno and see what kind of power output we get. All right, guys, so we've done some testing here, and then we did achieve 1080p 60 hertz in this, but that little asterisk that is online that said it, it can a uh, future update, it'll be available to do 4K 60, is not available yet. Uh, we achieved 4K 30 hertz HDR. Um, so I'm sure that update will come very, very, very soon. 
Uh, but yes, guys, so here we are on the menu right now. This is the menu from the 585 receiver. So if we go over to graphic equalizer here, we don't get that same parametric EQ that we get from the Avantage series. So if you guys are really looking to dial in your systems and do some custom tuning to them, I would hold off a little bit and splurge on the Avantage when that comes out. We will have a video as soon as that puppy hits the market. We're very, very, very excited to do some testing with it. Uh, but yeah, enough of my face and my voice and whatnot. Let's go on ahead and get to the fun stuff. Clear! Act on! All right. All right, guys, let's get into this right now. This is the fun part. So we're going to be doing a dyno test today to see what kind of actual RMS power this receiver can put out in two-channel stereo. The first thing I'm going to do is a C-weighted uh, measurement with this decibel meter at 1,000 hertz. We're going to play 1,000 hertz via Bluetooth through this system. Obviously, there's some distortion involved. That's not what we're worried about this very second. And we're going to see what kind of power it actually puts out. So I'm first going to set the receiver at zero, which is gonna be our reference setting here. Should be approximately uh, 85 decibels. Um, I expect you know higher output out of these uh, speakers. So let's see what kind of power it puts out. Let's get this going right now. We've got our hearing protection on because we should access over 100 decibels right now. So obviously at the higher frequency response, at the higher frequency response, it's not going to need as much wattage. So that's all the speaker needs at that point to push out that kind of power is 28 watts. A lot of people always think that these high frequency responses take tons and tons of power. That's just not accurate. All right, guys, so you saw what this was capable of with the 1000 hertz sine wave. Now let's get into some real power. Let's see what the true potential of this is with the full uh, range. Okay, so we're going to play an N NCS song right now. This is a hard hitting bass song. This is a speaker that can handle the power. So we're going to push it really, really hard all the way up to reference point at zero. As we turn up the volume, you're going to see the rating on the meter here change. And so each time it sees a higher jump in wattage, it's going to show us the peak real time. This is RMS wattage. So this is the actual power that this receiver can produce in two channel stereo. If you guys do want to see a video with all channels driven to see how much power we can get out of the system when all channels are driven, comment down below and we'll get that video out to you guys soon. All right, let's get this going right now. Hearing protection on so we don't blow our eardrums out. Let's get it going. Hold this here so you guys can see the DD. guys look at that 143 watts this thing was able to produce that is insane this thing is only rated for hundred watts at two channels driven there's the proof man the proof is in the pudding this baby put out 143 watts absolute animal not only did it produce what they claim it can produce it blew that out of the water almost by 50 percent if you guys want one of these, please give us a call. We'd be happy to get one for you. Free shipping nationwide, and we'll get you the best price. Thanks, guys. Oh, are you okay? Through the earmuffs, guys. I was recording with a gimbal on that one. Through those earmuffs, it was loud. So I can't even imagine what that 120 would have done to us, let alone this guy. So I'm going to crank it a little bit and make sure our 8,000s are okay.
crystal clear guys the the perfect combination this is always warren and i have been huge with this with divine av yamaha meets clips it is our favorite combo you yamaha hats off to you for bringing in an amazing unit uh rated at 100 watts it pushed what 145 148 at 120 decibels that is insane again warren mentioned it Comment down below, we could test the wattage rating with this seven channel driven. Remember this receiver can do 5.1.2 or 7.1. So uh, yeah, that if you guys wanna see that, comment down below. If we get enough comments going, we'll uh, get the production going on that one. Obviously it's a little bit more intensive, extensive to put seven speakers in a room. All right guys, so I wanna touch on the build quality of this unit. Everything is premium about it. It's a huge, huge upgrade over the previous generation. So a couple of quick things here. So the tactile response of these knobs is fantastic. So you got that kind of little notch right there. It feels great. It's a premium knob. I really like the design, the center knob. It's classy. It's different than anything else on the market, really. These buttons are extremely cool. Very sensitive buttons to control your menu. So really, really nice. And then you scroll through the different, the different settings once you actually access your menu using this knob right here. This does, you know, you can select by pressing N. This is a dual zone receiver. Really nice texture on the top here. So you got this kind of textured metal and quite functional we found. This unit never really got that hot. So it's pretty fantastic. They've got a great heat sink design inside and man, it just works extremely well. It's very unique. It's, it's unlike anything else we've seen on the market. So most receivers have kind of the standard little holes, more open coverage across the metal. Everything feels pretty premium overall. I don't really have any complaints with it so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Drop us a like down below. Helps people find us in the algorithm. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Oh. Roll the roll. Roll the big roll. <laughs>